Welcome to the Sports Whip. I'm Corey Keyes, joined by Alex Lake and Jason Smith. Going to kind of have a little off-the-cuff type show this week here on Channel 99. Um, you know, we're going on at 7.30, so we couldn't go on and talk about the Vanderbilt game as much as we would like to. So we're going to get into some other issues regarding Tuesday. There's an election going on, whether students can vote for whether they're in favor of Colonel Reb or not. Apparently, there's some diluted language, and some people don't even know what it means. Well, I mean, you know... I just want to make it clear that I have nothing against Colonel Webb. You know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the mascot, Colonel Webb, but the fact that it's been gone for the past six years and now all of a sudden people are like the Colonel Webb Foundation are trying to bring it back up and say, we want Colonel Webb. Well, too bad. That's not an option. So I don't really see why they're trying to tell students vote no. Well, I, you know, if the students want a mascot, why not? Yeah, I agree with you. If the students want a mascot, let them have a mascot. I really don't care what the mascot is. It could be a catfish. I don't care. <laughs> um, and like you said, Colonel Reb coming back, it's just not going to happen. Right. Now, it is, it's not Dan Jones doing. It's not Robert Kyatt's doing. It's no, None of those guys can bring Colonel Reb back. And I think, and, the, I think the fact that, like, everyone is blaming, on, blaming this on Dan Jones is really kind of annoying me because right. I, I really don't think it's his fault. He's, this is his first year. Colonel Reb has nothing to do with yeah. it. And I, I was know. gone in 2003. Dan Jones from Mount Chancellor in 2003. And I told you guys this before that we started the show was that, and I know you guys are from, you're from Mississippi and you're from Memphis, so you're close enough. Me being from Atlanta, I was kind of, you know, out of the loop before I came to Ole Miss. So I come to Ole Miss, I didn't have any problem with Colonel Reb. I thought it was a cool enough mascot on the surface before I actually did any research. And, you know, basically took people, like, what they thought about it and how they felt about it and how controversial it can be. But Colonel Reb's not a mascot anymore, and it's not the mascot. And I really, like you said, I really don't think there's an option at this point. So now that you go forward, I would much rather be worrying about going to bigger bowl games, going to NCAA tournaments, and going to Omaha, perhaps, as opposed to a mascot. Right. I mean, I think the one thing that maybe the Colonel Reb Foundation or something like that might have an issue with is the fact that Ole Miss is still making money off of Colonel right. Reb, which I do find kind of contradictory contradictory but you know I mean if if Ole Miss obviously still has the copyright maybe it's time for them to let go of that. Well I think one reason they do have that copyright is to keep the Colonel Reb image from falling in to maybe the wrong hands and just being able to control Colonel Reb then use it in as limited as a capacity as they can. They have to use it occasionally just to maintain that copyright and that's why they still have it. But like you were saying it's time to focus on going to these bigger bowl games and that's really the problem with the Ole Miss fan base. These so-called traditions, like Colonel mm -hmm. Reb, have taken more important, uh, have replaced basketball games, baseball games, and baseball games as the the top thing they want to worry about. Because at, at Ole Miss, they just cling to those traditions. And like you, we were talking about earlier, is students are more concerned about how they look at the Grove um, or how how full their cooler is at the baseball game than the actual game itself. Right, and you make an excellent point there was that the vote is for the students, which that's understandable. I get that. And, you know, on the surface, I'm okay with that. But at the same time, this mascot is the, I don't know how to say this other than, is basically the ambassador to the rest of the world. When you have your athletic teams competing on national television, they see that logo. And when you have students who are going to vote on this, it kind of, it makes me feel skeptical because these are the students, like you just said, who show up at the end of the first quarter during football games, who can't read a basketball schedule, and like you said, who are really more worried about drinking during baseball games. And it's kind of a shame that it's come to this. Right. And let's remember, I, I think, sure, I think the students have the right to have this vote. Right. Yeah, it, and I'm not, I'm not saying right. that they don't. But when it comes down to it, I really think if your teams win... I think that's going to make every yeah, that's going to exactly. make all the difference. All of this fade. All of this Colonel Reb issue is not going to matter as long as your team can come out and win. Let's say the Ole Miss football team somehow went to Atlanta and they went to Pasadena and won the national championship. Do you think we would be talking about Colonel Reb right now? Oh, not a chance. Nope. It all comes down to winning. Winning cures everything. You win a national championship, we're talking about right now, literally, this show right now is talking about spring practice coming up yep. and who's going to play quarterback. That's something that we're not even going to get into right now because we have to, you know, address this issue. And like we said, the vote will be Tuesday online. So as the Colonel Rev Foundation is saying, it's your chance to make your voice known 
on this issue. And I know that, you know, we'll all sit here and vote about this, but one way or the other, make an educated decision. Don't make something that's based on what other people are trying to tell you and don't be influenced by other people. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's, you know, it's definitely someone that, you know, you don't need to be told what to do. I think right. it's something that if you want a new mascot, obviously it's not going to be Colonel Rev. If you want a new mascot, vote yes. Yeah. Both sides are really hitting the, the advertising with the DM and the, and the radio, trying to get their opinion out there, both the ASB and say Colonel Reb. And like I was saying, it needs to be your decision. Educate yourself on, on what the vote is actually on. And just remember that Colonel Reb is not an option right now. And at what point does this all just kind of become ridiculous? I know we've right gone through it. I think, I think we're already there. It, it, I think we're past being ridiculous, honestly. And that's, that's where you make a good point, because I've been here four years for somebody who came here out of state from Georgia, and I, I'm so sick of hearing this at this point that I don't care one way or the other what the mascot situation right. is. Let me, let me remind you, I have grown up, my entire family was Ole Miss fans, so I've grown up around Oxford. I've been coming to Oxford every year of my life. Colonel Reb was always a big part of me, but when it comes down to it, I really just want the athletic teams to win. I don't care about some kind of mascot. That just doesn't interest me. Now, I'm same situation, born in Mississippi. My whole family's gone here. But the, the thing is, the mascot does not affect performance on the field. What we want is, what Ole Miss fans want is winning football, basketball, baseball, track, whatever. And that does, has nothing to do with who's representing us on the field as a mascot. All right, when we come back here on the Sports Whip, we're going to talk SEC basketball, and later on in the show, we're going to preview Mike Bianco's Ole Miss baseball team for the 2010 season. Stay tuned to the Sports Whip right here on Ole Miss TV.